every individual has to learn and practice what they want to achieve perfection of, were the famous thoughts of Socrates. Learning in general can be defined as a long-term process that changes and influences your knowledge, skills and attitude. Modern European educational terminology divides learning into three categories. It's formal, informal and non-formal learning, which are all well defined and explained in a video, The Three Ways of Learning. Formal learning is something that takes place in school's environment. The situation is planned and purposed, and that is done through national curriculum and the subject and school syllabuses and the teacher's work plan. For example, a traditional math class where a student is doing their workbook exercises is formal education. It is also assessed and evaluated through exams and placement tests. Informal learning is the opposite. It is something that happens in everyday situations. It is the Saturdays that you hang with your friends or the evenings that you spend with your parents or family. It is something that is educational and might change your values, but the results are viewable much, much later. Somewhere between those two is non-formal learning. It is something that happens or takes place in different situations and environments. It is purposed and might be planned like formal education, but it is more flexible and available for everyone. And most importantly, it should happen voluntarily. Non-formal education is both social and individual learning. It is something that you can do in extracurricular activities or subjects where you use active and interactive study methods. It's also individual learning, your own idea and aim to educate yourself. For example, learning a new skill, like playing a guitar through YouTube videos. In order for the study process to be more enjoyable and fruitful, we need to combine those two. Something that is set by the national curriculum and also more flexible and innovative, like the non-formal learning process. Learning takes place when there is something interesting for the student or pupil. It is something that can influence you, something that brings out emotions and allows, you, allows yourself to find answers to certain questions that you are looking for, requirements that you want to fulfil. In order for that to happen, you need to have belief in yourself and your self-esteem that you can manage obtaining that value. Formal learning focuses mainly on that particular value, the value of the subject and what you are particularly learning. Non-formal education, on the other hand, focuses on the process, the emotion that it brings out in you and how you are learning. That's why it is said it's important to use your more creative side. Learning is important because through that we learn new things, skills and can change our attitude. It is rather pointless if we do it only up to the exams or if we forget about the things next week. It is said that in average a person can think about 800 words a minute but we can only speak about 120 words per minute. Therefore, it is evident that there is enough free energy and time for a listener to not only pay attention to what is said, but at the same time make connections and think about how to actually implement what is said in the real life. The practical value of learning is something that non-formal education forces. More and more attention is put on non-formal education in young person's development. Consciously learning to learn is something that can help you map your skills and knowledge, help yourself define as a citizen. Non-formal learning is something that can be achieved to anyone. It is available for all interested parties. There are a vast number of projects for youngsters in local level, both internationally. These are some opportunities that Sigrid will now be introducing more thoroughly.